I want to welcome you to drama analysis and remember that drama is a genre of literature. In fact, there are three genres that is drama, poetry and prose. So my focus today is on drama analysis. Drama is a genre of literature, as I've said, which tells a story in the form of dialogue and action. As a result, when you open a drama book, a play, then what you see is conversation where characters are talking. But above all, you need to know that drama is not meant to be read. Of course, we do read for examinations and other purposes, but it is actually meant for uh, the stage where the actors and actresses perform drama and the audience are actually listening and seeing what is taking place. But all the same, you can still enjoy reading drama but in your mind, you need to see the actors on stage. <clears throat> One important aspect of drama is that it imitates a real life. <laughs> there are types of drama. The first one of the five being a comet. It is a type of drama with a happy ending. And it is meant to amuse and entertain the readers and the audience. Uh, then the opposite of this one is a tragedy, which is a play which recounts a series of events uh, and they end in the death of uh, the protagonist and at times other characters. You can think of your Shakespearean Romeo and Juliet. Then uh, there is the tragic comedy. You see, it is taking the two, the comedy aspect and the tragic aspect. As a result, a tragic comedy has these aspects, the features of a tragedy, but usually it ends happily. The example that we have is uh, The Merchant of Venice by Shakespeare. Then there is a melodrama. This one is a sensational and appealing play whose characters and emotions appear too exaggerated to be real. So in fact, it's still interesting. You can see that uh, events have been exaggerated and the way characters are acting are also exaggerated, but we still have lessons to learn from melodrama. And then uh, the last one is the first. This one is a humorous play with the simple characters and action. And it is meant to create laughter and amusement. Right. Then um, you also need to know that characters in a first make humorous, silly mistakes. So it's usually about humor, about your amusement. You are seeing the characters. They are making silly mistakes and you are saying, oh, why are they doing this? But that is the part of our first drama. Right, then we now come on to the elements of drama. The first one is dialogue. And dialogue distinguishes drama from other literal genres. For example, the novel, which is written in paragraphs and can be narrated uh, by a first person narrator or a third person narrator or a short story, right? And uh, then um, he, the characters in a dialogue, right? They engage in a conversation and they express their own feelings and emotions. That is an aspect of drama. Then uh, another aspect of drama, he, we have uh, the stage. Remember I said that although at times we read drama, but it is meant for the stage. So in fact, 
we drama is meant to be acted on stage and then a stage is a platform uh, where the drama is performed and then it can be a real theater or currently in the modern day it can be just outside and then the actors are acting uh, and the audience are seeing and listening to what is happening then um this stage we can say that it is a physical representation of the world of the play so in other words when the actors and the actresses are taking their positions they are acting they are doing that on a stage which automatically become the setting a miniature of the world i can say uh, then we also have uh, the stage directions and these directions, uh, they give us more information about uh, the events that are taking place. If the character is talking, how is the character uh, saying out the words or what the character is thinking? So this is on stage and the stage directions. Right, then we've got the setting. Uh, from the stage and the stage directions, we can already see that the setting has already been uh, put into place for a play. Uh, then we have got, um, in addition to the stage and the stage directions, we have other factors like the lighting. If it is at night, then uh, you can see the, the actors can say out that it is now night. That is when they are using um, an outdoor, an outdoor stage. But if they are using a theater or another room, they can just switch off the lights, and then you know that it is night and so on. And then uh, there are also some signs, uh, the sounds that can be heard. I'm sure for those who are in love with the Nigerian uh, films and plays they know it and there are some sounds that go tin 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 signifying danger and then you wanted to find out what is happening so in fact all these factors uh they bring out the setting they actually enhance the setting of the play right then we come on to the audience if drama is meant to be acted, it means that the audience are very important. And without the audience, you can imagine who can act actually. So in other words, we are saying that the audience, um, they are the people who can actually judge the success or the failure of uh, a play. They give their comments and so on. Right, then we've got the acts and the scenes. Uh, for most of uh, the people who are actually used to the novels, you know that for a novel, a novel uh, is demarcated by chapters, chapter one, chapter two, and so on. But this is different uh, when we are now talking of drama. The demarcations are in acts, and within the acts, the scenes are uh, for the Elizabethan plays uh, where Shakespeare falls in. Uh, they are normally five acts, but you know, things are always changing. Today we can have three acts, two acts, and how many scenes is still fine. Things are actually changing. Then the scenes, these are just the subsections of the acts. So, in other words, we can say that a scene is characterized by a unit of action in the same locality or in the same setting in most. Right, then we come on to the plot. The plot is the, the storyline of a, a literal text. And then when we are now looking at our drama, the scene, the, the plot actually develops according to scenes and the acts. And when we are looking at the plot, 
let's say you are analyzing drama, you need to pay attention to the opening scene because it is of uh, great importance. This is where the dramatists or the playwrights capture the audience interest by creating a relevant back background of the setting. Uh, if it is a tragedy, then uh, the relevant mood and setting need to be uh, portrayed. If it is a comedy, uh, appropriate mood and environment also need to be uh, actually set. And then another aspect of the plot, which is important, is the closing scene. This is uh, the resolution of a play. It is important, actually. If it is, is a tragedy, it is associated with many deaths. And if it is a comedy, you can see that things have changed. They are just now nice. The conflicts have been resolved and things are just okay. Then we come on to the characters. When we are talking of uh, drama, the characters are important because these are the ones that are actually acting, showing their emotions and their actions. So, in fact, if a dramatist put them well, automatically the play is a success. And it is also through these characters that we learn a lot. In fact, even the themes come as a result of the actors in what they say, in their actions, in what other characters say of them. Themes are often brought up by these characters, as I have said, and uh, he, characters are thus important. Then uh, the themes that I was talking of he, is another aspect that we needed to look at. These are ideas which are raised by a play. Remember, he, a playwright don't just write a play, but it should have a message. So in other words, we are saying themes are the, the messages that the dramatist wants to put across to the audience. And uh, most of them, uh, they portray real life issues like love, like ambition, revenge, death. You may name them. Right. Thank you very much for listening. You'll get much more next time. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.